In level 5.6, our goals are pretty simple. We don't have to deal with any villains or any portals. We just have to get from the beginning to the end. There's one barrier in the way, a wall right here, which we'll deal with in a little bit. But for the moment, let's take this opportunity to look at another way that we can approach motion. Now in Scratch, we have sort of two axes, much like if you were graphing something on an XY graph. We have vertical motion, and we have horizontal motion. For those, we can use these blocks to indicate how to move up, down, left, and right, however far we want. The vertical block works using negative and positive numbers to go down and up, respectively. So if we want to go down three squares, like we will for this first step, we could type vertical block negative three, click, and it will take us down three squares. If we make this vertical block three, it'll go up three squares. So positive is up, negative is down. For the horizontal block, we can do the same thing. So after we move down three, we can move horizontally three to the right, which is positive, or three to the left, which is negative. So to get to the bottom, we'll want to go three down and three right three times. Down, right, down, right, before we get up to this funny looking wall. So the way we can do that using repeat is to repeat three times this process of moving down three and then horizontally three, which means we need to use a positive number. So negative three to go down and positive three for the horizontal block to go right. We'll see how this works. Nice and smooth. All right, we'll reset now and focus next on how on earth we'll get through this wall down at the end. We'll be using the broadcast block. Now the broadcast block allows us to send messages from our sprite to the other sprites in the area, as well as to the backdrop. In this case, we want to tell the backdrop to open up that wall. So we send this message or broadcast this message open. The result is that the stage, when it receives open, will switch the backdrop to a different one, wait two seconds, and then switch it back. If we look at the backdrops, the one that it will be switching to is actually completely empty right here. It would allow us to pass through, but it'll only be like that for two seconds before it switches back. So let's go back to Sydney. We'll want to first get down to the bottom of this because we only have so much time. So we'll leave this piece of the program right here first. Repeat three, vertical block negative three, horizontal block three. Then once we get to the bottom, we'll broadcast open and then move one, two, three, four blocks to the end. So we'll use the horizontal block again, right here, and then win to finish our program. This should hopefully work to get us from beginning to end. Let's find out. Great. And we see that the black wall appeared behind us long past when we got through that particular square. Try using the broadcast tool to get through other walls that are thin like this. All of the backdrops will make sure that if you broadcast open, those walls will disappear, but only for a short time. 